this point, I think it's safe to say that I have the most A's placed out out of literally anyone on this game. I mean, look how huge I am and look how quick I'm moving. By the end of this video, you too will learn how to score the ball and shoot just like me. Now, for starters, if you want to be toxic, you gotta have the best ISO build in the game, which is a two-way playmaker. And as you can see, I'm a 99 overall two-way playmaker with double arm sleeves, which boosts my three-pointer, which totals up to give me a 73 ball. Compared to a 64 three ball, if you decided to not reach 99 and also not wear double arm sleeves. The next thing you're gonna need is my dribble moves. Now this is for tall guards who wanna combo but be toxic at the same time. Go ahead and copy my six and pause and rewind and do what you need to do. Now just make your way to the mod court and I'm gonna briefly go over the combos I do as a 6-5 ISO guard. So now that we're in the mod court, y'all already have my six down. The first move I'm gonna get into is the crab. Now in order to trigger the crab, all you wanna do is hold RT. You know what I'm saying? Hold RT the whole time you're doing this move and flick the right stick opposite up diagonal of where you're trying to go. So if we want to crab to the left, I'm going to hold RT, flick the right stick upper left. If I want to crab right, I'm going to flick the right stick upper right. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple. This is probably the easiest move on this whole little section of the tutorial. And then the next thing we have is this move, which I just call it a rhythm dribble. But this move right here is OP. This move can either either set you up to get open at the three-point line or can set you up for a easy swift rim run now the way you trigger this move is you want to put the ball in your left hand okay you want to hold rt and flick the right stick up once you flick the right stick up you'll see the ball go to your right hand immediately as soon as it goes to your right hand just run right back left so once again i'm gonna hold rt flick the right stick up the ball's gonna go to my right hand the ball look look look, look closely the ball's gonna go to my right hand right and then i'm gonna run left so the ball's gonna flick right and then you just run left so you start with the ball in your left hand it's gonna flick right then you just run left and the way you do that you want to hold rt the whole time you're doing this move by the way put the ball in your left hand hold rt flick up and then just run left if i put the ball in my left hand you know what i'm saying it's gonna be back in my left hand rt flick up run left if i put it in my right i'm a rt flick up and then run right boom that easy now the next move we have this is a combo and it's like it's like it's it's literally just this it's a spam it's using the uh r2 flick stick up that i just taught y'all earlier but i'm just doing a crab and the reason why this is useful is because this this is just a combo it's just to trick your uh defender into trying to see where you're going you feel me you can also get a crab off of this it also puts them behind you this is kind of like a slippery little move if y'all don't know defense is insanely slippery on this game but enough talking so the way you do this move is literally you hold rt the whole time doing this move first off and then you just flick the right stick up and then as soon as the right stick goes to the left you want to flick the right stick back up or right to do the crab so you do a rhythm dribble then you just do the crab rhythm dribble then do the crab but you got to do it as soon got to do it as soon as the you gotta have you have to do the crab as soon as the ball goes to your left so go to my left crab 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 and that's the spam now the next move we have is this this is known as the oh my god i messed up this is known as the momentum into the crab and all you want to do i assume everybody on this video already knows how to momentum i done already got y'all boys right with the momentum so the way y'all want to um do the momentum you just momentum but as soon as you momentum you do the crab so you momentum let go of everything crab but you do it fast momentum let go of everything crab you know what i'm saying there's no holding anything you just trigger the momentum and as soon as the momentum triggers you also do the crab so the next move we have is this move right here just a little just a little speed boost feel me just a little speed boost nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and the way this move is triggered is by holding rt to do a crab and then so, so like say the ball starts in your left hand you trigger a crab and then you just flick the right stick upper left back the other way so i'm a crab to the right is gonna flick back left the right stick is gonna flick upper left diagonal 
and then you're just gonna run to trigger the speed boost and it looks like this it's all one fluid motion feel me this move can set you up for a rim run it can also set you up for a three i normally do this move when i'm going for a three though i ain't gonna lie but then the next move we have this is like the last move that i'm gonna teach is this snatch right here this move is literally you can do this move to rim run or you can do this move to it's basically a reset mostly i use it to reset you can also use the rim run i i would say i use it just as equally to rim run too look at this kid getting crab look at him getting crab you feel me even though i just clanked that we ain't gonna talk about it but the way you do this move right here is it don't matter which hand the ball is in you just flick the right stick up and then flick the left stick down at the same time okay literally you flick the right stick up and flick the left stick down literally at the exact same time wait actually no no i lied okay okay flick the right stick up and then flick the left stick down like separated like in between like one second so it's like a one two one two one two one two yeah so flick the right stick up and then flick the left stick down it's literally that simple now in terms of my play style one thing i pride myself in is being literally one of the best shooting two-way playmakers on this game and these badges fit my play style perfectly now as far as chef goes chef literally just allows you to shoot threes more consistently hot zone hunter also does the same thing when you have hot zones almost everywhere on the court it just allows you to shoot at maximum efficiency you know what i'm saying everybody knows about stop and pop this move activates on literally any dribble move you try to do like whether that's a crab whether that's just a quick stop crossover anything it activates volume shooter is a slept on badge i feel like some people low-key forgot about this badge but literally this badge is op because literally every time you shoot the ball your jump shot gets boosted who would not want a boost every time they shot the ball and then we have green machine on silver now i would not recommend putting this badge above silver i put it on silver so it could have a bit more of an effect than bronze you feel me so keep this keep this badge on silver you'll be straight now rhythm shooter nobody really knows about rhythm shooter i feel like i'm low-key one of the only ones to know i know i'm not the only one do not attack me in the comments but bro nobody knows about this badge for real now the reason why i, I went with this badge you know what i'm saying like last i need y'all boys to know this badge activates every time i do a crab and that's why y'all see me doing the crab move so much it's even in my dribble moves i shoot off of this once again i got the most forbidden play style on this game nobody likes guarding my play style like it's it's top tier a's now last but not least i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some shooting tips now look man i ain't gonna lie shooting on a low three ball two-way play i might make it look easy but it ain't easy if you don't got what you need i ain't gonna lie so as y'all can see i have hot spots literally all around the court you want to have hot spots every shooter every comp player you know has hot spots unless they on the inside they all have hot spots around the three-point line now if you want to know the fastest way to get it some people recommend playing part but I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now if you try to go to part with a low three ball build bro it's not gonna go too well for you so what you want to do is you want to go to options and quit and i think it's what controller settings or what is it is it in settings okay go to settings put your game difficulty on pro right and then all you want to do is play a game and shoot five shots in literally every single spot once you shoot five shots in every single spot you will be set you know what i'm saying you will get your hot spots easily nice and fast and then last but not least man i'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all the best jump shot on this game i mean this this has to be the best jump shot i've used literally amateur 8 release 57 and release 57 nobody knows about these releases i'm not gonna lie i found these off of like nba 2k lab or nba 2k tuts i think that's one of them and then it is max speed it is literally max speed so just go max speed on this jump shot and you'll be guaranteed to go crazy but it's been your boy Disto, man. I hope y'all will be playing just like me. I hope y'all will be going crazy with the fastest jump shot and best fastest dribble moves on this game. But it's been your boy Disto, and I'm out. Peace.